launched on in the first full day of this trip. Some pretty strong gusts of wind coming up right here. These are the rapids upstream of Moberly Lake on the Yellowknife River system. Fantastic spot here. And I'll see if there's any big pike in the area shortly. Here's a really good close up of the rapids. Well, it's been a bit of a disappointment fishing for pike here so far. Fishing in lots of other spots. I'm doing what I'm doing now and if there's any big ones there they should bite. So far it's just one small one that I actually have on the line and a really tiny one that just jumped up at the lure at the very last minute. I don't think that was a fish. I'm not sure why there aren't too many here. I also thought there would be clear evidence of a lot of whitefish around here, but I haven't seen a single one jump yet either. It's a bit of a mystery. There we go. Not huge. That was the one I had before though. Bigger one. Walleye. Walleye. I think there's a walleye in the Yellowknife River system? Anywhere. It's a walleye though. This is the rapids between Clan and Mowbray Lake on the Yellowknife River. I tried fishing upstream of this rapids. Haven't had any luck yet. I'm going to try downstream in a bit, but at least there's an indication that there are whitefish around, some animal. Got one out of the water and ate it here. Finally, almost 24 hours after I was supposed to be heading back, the float plane is landing now that the weather has improved enough around the Illinois for float planes to be taking off and landing. It's been pretty good here actually uh, most of the day. It's apparently a different story around the Illinois. Anyway, I am super relieved to be heading back because my supply of food was getting extremely low and uh, I really wasn't fancying the prospect of another night out here. This is my campsite on Johnston Lake. This is the view looking out from right on the water. And down here, I'm storing all the stuff for going on the water and fishing. Canoe I took up to the falls upstream of Moberly Lake yesterday and to Lower Johnston Lake for fishing this morning. 
where the fishing was surprisingly good. Really good average size walleye there. And the boat that I make air slash yellow dog lodge keep on this lake. It's a good little boat and a very reliable outboard. Starts first thing pretty much every time. So I was just kind of ambivalent about this camping spot when I first got here because of this fairly steep hill to go up to get to the camping area. But it's grown on me over the course of the days that I've been here. I get a good workout every time. Going from the shoreline there up to where my tent and eating area is. And then over here, keeping the coolers I brought with me. I like to have a bit of a luxury of being able to drink milk and cook fresh meat. So keeping it cold is important. And with these coolers in the shade here, and the temperature is not too hot, plus uh, keeping the ice in the cold freezer. For a few days beforehand, the ice there should actually still be ice in those coolers right up until when I leave uh, five days after I got here. <laughs> 